All right, guys, so we're going to go over the DGP uh, for Wednesday. And, you know, for Wednesday's work, we always begin by counting the number of subject and verb sets that we labeled for Tuesday's work. So we had labeled mother as the only subject and travel as the only verb. So because there's only one subject and one verb, there's only one clause because every clause has to have its own subject and verb. Because there's only one clause, it has to be an independent clause because every sentence has to have at least one independent clause. If there's only one independent clause, then that means that the sentence is a simple sentence. Simple sentences only have one independent clause. Then in order to find the purpose, we read the sentence and decide what is the sentence purpose. Her mother will travel before work. So it's either going to be declarative, imperative, interrogative, or exclamatory. This sentence is declared. So then we're going to care, uh, carefully punctuate and capitalize our sentence. We know the only thing that we capitalize in the sentence is the beginning of the sentence. So we capitalize the H in her and then our ending punctuation mark is a period because it's declarative. Well, that was easy enough for Wednesday and Thursday. So now we're going to go over Friday's work. All right, let me move this up just a little bit. So your sentence line should have started just like this. So remember, the subject goes here and that. Intransitive verb goes there. So we'll write our subject, mother. We'll travel. So then we said her is modifying mother. So you put the modifiers off whatever they're modifying. And then before work, we said it's telling more about when they're going to travel. So we draw the prepositional phrase lines and we write our preposition here and our object of the preposition on the horizontal line and then our period because we punctuate and capitalize on our diagram to review Thursday's work. Okay, guys, I hope that makes sense and I hope you made a 100 <laughs> um, and you didn't have to make any changes. Um, great job. Now go back to the Google Classroom and pick up with the other things that you need to do. You're creating your dialectical journal folders today. And you are also going to be um, reading the Scarlet Ibis and annotating it just like we did yesterday. And we'll talk about uh, that a little bit more um, in the meet.